Habari yeah. yako? Nzuri sana, habari yako? Oh, poa sana. <laughs> Nina furaha kukutana na wewe. Asante sana. Karibu. Asante. Yeah. The bill music. Drive <laughs> fly. The bill. Drive fly. Yeah, stay tuned and follow Drive fly on all platforms. Drive fly, drive fly. Drive fly, drive fly. Hi guys. That is your mobility enthusiast, Dave Gill. And it is my responsibility to bring you closer to all mobility innovations. I'm at your service. I am in Eastern Africa today, Kenya to be precise. This gentleman right beside me is doing the unthinkable. Alex, you created all this. Guys, stay tuned. Never been done before. Drive a fire upon social. Automotive innovation, electric mobility. Dave is three steps ahead. No competitor over here. Are you a fan of the vehicle space? Drive a fire leading the race. Stay tuned and follow Drive a fire on all platforms. Drive a fire, drive a fire, drive a fire. These are electric and solar trikes. Primarily, we use them for mobility. Uh, our company is really trying to figure out how goods are being moved from one place to another to make sure that it's being done at the lowest cost. And for those people moving those goods, we make sure that they're trying to do that as profitably as possible. However, our solar trike was trying to achieve two things. The first is, of course, mobility, mm -hmm. but also access to electricity, okay. which is why we have a solar panel on it. Oh, okay, awesome. Yes. I think we're going to talk about this solar panel later on. Sure. So, um, who are your target markets? Which people are buying this? Um, I think this is the story of most startups in the sense that we do not yet have absolute clarity yeah. on who our target customer okay. will be. However, at the moment, we are piloting this, uh, these products with smallholder farmers. Our smallholder oh, farmers, farmers in rural areas okay. really struggle to move their produce to market. And uh, that means, I mean, they struggle to move their produce to market and it becomes really expensive and yeah. inefficient for yeah. them. If you give them their own autonomy in the form of a tricycle or a bicycle to move that produce, hopefully they can do that a lot easier at a lower cost and we can make farming a profitable venture, especially for those doing it at a small scale. Wow, you are doing a fantastic job Thank you. over here in Kenya. Thank you. So do you manufacture the component over here in Kenya or you import the component? It's a, it's a mixture of both the things that we manufacture here and also things that we import from uh, abroad. The two things that we manufacture here are the frame. So this frame has been locally designed and locally manufactured. The second thing is the batteries. We have a battery box right at the bottom of the, at the, uh, box. Um, oh, at okay. the bottom of the tricycle. However, this is an example of what our batteries uh, look like. So this battery has also been designed, assembled, uh, locally, especially now we're trying to build smarter batteries that are a bit more functional than your conventional battery. Wow, awesome. So I want to know, have you been able to employ people in this company? Yes, so we are at the moment very fortunately we have a team of five. Uh, the team is split across operations, technical and business development. Okay. Uh, and increasingly we're growing. Uh, actually, before the end of the year, we're looking to, uh, to hire and have an even bigger team. But of course, for any startup, hiring is very tied to yeah. the amount of revenue you can generate. That is very true. Yes. How many of these um, trikes have you been able to deliver to your target markets or your customers? Um, there's been quite a number. Interestingly, our very first sale was a sale from a client in Japan. In Japan? So, so it's usually funny that Africa is used to importing vehicles, uh, yeah, yeah, true. but in this case we, we were fortunate to export one. However, our, our model is not really a sales model, it's more of a leasing model. Leasing, so okay. either individuals or companies can lease either of the tricycles for about three and a half dollars a day mm -hmm. and our bicycles for two dollars uh, a day. At the moment we are working with three different customers who are leasing 
uh, these tricycles and bicycles from us. Mm -hmm. One has a fleet of two, and the other has a, uh, the others have a fleet of uh, one. So at the moment, we're still leasing. I think leasing is great because it still gives us um, a bit of control to the yeah. asset because we're still learning. But soon, hopefully in the next year or so, in 2023, we will start selling these outright. Okay, so if I understand you, I mean that is a perfect model though. Mm -hmm. So if I understand you, one of these strikes is in Japan as That's we right. speak now. That's right. Awesome. So what are they using it for? Um, it's, it's actually part of a research and development project to explore what communities could look like in the future. So it's smart communities, uh, infusing electric mobility, digitalization, but really trying to explore what the future, especially for rural uh, households and rural environments could look like in terms of mobility. Great. Yeah, so I have been around for some years to understand that, I mean, life is tough. We all have challenges. Sure. What has been your your greatest challenge? Um, the, the easy one to say is, is is funding. Of course, everything we see here costs a lot of money, uh, and it's it's important for any founder to think through how all of that is going to be financed. But also, bigger problems are finding talent is still difficult. Mm -hmm. Difficult, particularly to the sense in the sense that electric mobility is fairly new. Yeah, uh, I agree with and you. And creating that talent locally, engineers, technicians who can design and fix such products is, is a bit of a learning uh, curve. Also, to build this into a business is slightly difficult because, like anything, it's a new product. Yeah. The market has to be aware, the market has to see the value you're creating before you have any sort of considerable traction. But none of these challenges are entirely insurmountable. Yeah. In time, uh, we will create solutions for all these things and I have no doubt mm -hmm. that electric sure. mobility will become a big thing across the continent. Yeah, yes. I am, I am quite surprised how Kenyans have accepted or adopted this e-mobility because there are so many companies springing up here in Kenya mm -hmm. and it's, it's amazing. True. It's, a, it's actually amazing. True. Um, the world is moving towards zero emission mobility now and that is basically what you are doing. Are you, or do you have plans of building four wheels? Uh, for sure we do. Um particularly because our company is focused on logistics. So we're, we're keen to really understand how people are moving products from one place to another. Uh, we do realize that such, this range of products mm -hmm. works really well in the first and in the last mile, but there's the middle mile where four wheelers would really come into play. But I think that is probably between 10, uh, five to ten years to come. Oh, okay. Yes. But do you also have plans of exporting this to other parts of, let's say, Africa to meet the needs of these farmers that you spoke about? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're, we're super keen on, on uh, especially the local regional, uh, sorry, the regional uh, economy. Uganda and Tanzania are low-hanging fruit in that, mm -hmm. uh, in that sense. So, because also farming is such an important economic activity yeah. across the continent. So there's millions of people that we could help uh, also across the continent. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is, that is solar, right? It is, yes. So tell me how it works. So it's, it's, a standard, it's a standard system in the sense that you have your generation, uh, so the PV module. So this is a 300 watt, mod, uh, 300 watt PV module. Uh, we then have storage under here. We have our battery box that sits right at the okay. uh, Maybe bottom. Maybe you can show us there. later, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, uh, and then of which also an example of our battery is here. Another iteration of the battery is also here. Then lastly, in the wheel, it's a bit tricky to see, but in the wheel we have our motors as hub motors. So those three things form the, mm. uh, the key components, the generation, the PV module, mm. the load in form of the motor and the storage in form of the battery. And you and your team yes. built this here in Nairobi, Kenya. We did indeed. Awesome. <laughs> wow. So what is the range this tricycle can cover on a single charge? Uh, it can comfortably do between 70 to 100 kilometers. 100 is particularly when you only have a rider. 70, sometimes even as low as 60, uh, when you have a rider and also uh, a load. So it's rather functional and very competitive and competitive uh, when you compare this sort of range to other mobility uh, solutions that people have. 70 to 100 That's kilometers. Right. That's right. So, okay, let me ask. 
So, for instance, I'm riding this, all right, mm -hmm. and then it's it's sunny. Mm -hmm. What happens? Does it increase the the range? Absolutely. So that's that's one of the key advantages of having a PV uh, a PV module. None of us in our cars would arrive at your destination with more fuel than mm. uh, than when you left your origin. But with solar powered mobility, yeah. that is a hundred percent possible to do. Wow. Yes. So how long does it take to charge the battery? I mean, a full charge. Uh, to full charge, it will take you between three and four hours of peak sunshine. Uh, but also similar to all our other vehicles, particularly the motorcycles that are coming in, we've opted for a battery swapping model to make sure that the uptime is uh, optimized as much as possible. As, as much as possible. I have a lot of fans watching us now. <laughs> What's your message to them? Would you advise them to embrace e-mobility? Absolutely. A hundred percent. E-mobility is, is something that is uh, an interesting concept and something that for sure, for sure, already features and will continue featuring in our continent. But I think more than that, it's, it's important for us Africans to really be at the forefront of building solutions. We have to be the people who control what our cities are going to uh, to look like. So I would encourage as many people as possible. It may not necessarily be uh, to found a startup. It might be in building policy or uh, working in finance to or working in the legal space. But yeah. I think collectively it's important, it's important that we become the drivers of what our future on this continent is going to look like. All right guys, you heard everything. Thank you. Thank you. Asante, Asante. Ah, Karibu. <laughs> Karibu. Thanks. Eve innovation, electric mobility. Dave is three steps ahead. No competitor over here. Are you a fan of the vehicle space? Driver fire leading the race. Stay tuned and follow Driver Fi on all platforms. Driver Fi, Driver Fi, Driver Fi, Driver Fi. Driver Fi. Drive a fight, drive a fight, drive a fight, drive a fight, drive a fight.